Well, beautiful weather there in Holland today, and it will be a beautiful weekend for all of us as well. The sunshine really starting to show itself again after we were stuck in some clouds earlier today. Winds are quieting just a touch as well. So it's going to be a nice evening here. So colors showing well in Grand Rapids area right now. Still some green out there, but the colors getting more and more vibrant, especially after just a touch of rain yesterday, kind of helping add to the colors. Now this evening, the clouds will break. Those winds again continuing to calm down. That will contribute to a cool overnight. Frost and freeze advisories and warnings are posted. That'll be for more so inland areas Saturday morning. We do see a warm up though heading into the week back to the 60s and maybe a shot at 70 degrees before another cool down moves in. Our temperatures right now are rather our dew points right around that freezing mark. So really dry air and that allows with a wind anywhere from 5 to 10 miles per hour right now could touch these temperatures down just a touch. So even though we're in the 40s for most right around 50 degrees, it feels just a little bit cooler, especially up near Muskegon and Big Rapids where temperatures are only in the mid 40s right now. We're still holding on to 49 in Grand Rapids, a couple of 50s down near Kalamazoo Battle Creek and in Holland as well. So here's a look at overnight lows and notice along the lakeshore temperature is not going to be so bad. Upper 30s around 40 degrees, but you look areas along and east of US 131, 34, 34, 36 Kalamazoo. There are some 32s down near Coldwater and in Jackson. That's where the freeze warning is posted down near Ingham County, Eaton County, Calhoun County and Branch. That's a freeze warning. The lighter blue is a frost advisory where temperatures will be anywhere between 36 and 32 degrees as well. So we're going to see frost. We're going to potentially see some freeze as well. It's going to be a chilly start to the day for areas not along the lakeshore. Now areas along the lakeshore seeing a little bit of showers as well down near Benton Harbor and Niles and the Dwajak area. Most of this is fairly light, but it is streaming on and off and will continue for the next couple of hours until the moisture really dries out. There are some showers around, but you can see all of it streaming off of the lakeshore. So this is a lake effect rain shower event, and that's what we're going to see here the rest of tonight before we dry out. Probably by about midnight, most of the moisture will be gone. If you're Holland, Muskegon, you may see a brief sprinkle, but most of us again going to remain dry. So tomorrow morning, it looks like we could see some clouds. These clouds could help alleviate those temperatures overnight, which is why there's not a freeze warning for a lot of West Michigan, mainly just focused down near Battle Creek and Coldwater. Tomorrow, a breezy westerly wind with the mostly sunny skies, and then a weaker cold front will pass as we head into Sunday morning. That'll bring a few clouds and then turn into cloud cover for the afternoon hours, although that will push temperatures back to the 60s just because it's a weaker cold front. It's just nice to get another high pressure system moving in and cooler temper or rather a calmer wind and again just a few more clouds for Sunday. So partly cloudy there 62 degrees, but tomorrow that's where the breezy winds are going to be around winds out of the west uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour starts southwesterly and then it pushes really westerly. So it's going to be a breezy day, especially areas along the lakeshore. Wave heights have been seven feet today, going to be the same tomorrow. So if you're headed out to the lakeshore trying to see some fall colors along the lake, definitely be careful of that. If you're walking on any piers, uh, inland areas will still see the same breezy wind. Sunday and Monday, though, back to the 60s, and there's that shot at 70 degrees on Tuesday, something we haven't seen in uh, a couple of days now. will be nice to see it one more time. Hopefully not the last, though, average last 70 degree days, October 20th. That would be October uh, 12th, so we're getting pretty close to that last 70 degree day. Got to take each one uh, as we as we get.